yours. She knew how important this night was to me. Uh oh, she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time to play. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Why are you so grumpy all of a sudden? Priscilla, she's. What? Speak, man. She's badly hurt. Uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg Ooh. your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Hmm. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. Oh boy. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's Easy think about sell. what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Okay, preventive medicine. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Ooh. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. All right, so this guy is like a... Aladdin class, a healer and a warrior. Well, all right. He seems to be pretty confident that he is talking about. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? All right, Joachim, is that how they pronounced his name in this game? I would have thought Joachim when I first saw it, but all right. I am so ready. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion, even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. We're on it, Dandelion. You lead. So, uh, sewer time. preventive medicine you practice in the sewers, what's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? 
I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Oh, I tried to walk slow enough for him to finish his thought, but unsuccessfully. Let's do a little Quen. Up. Oh. All right. I had a Priscilla. Oh. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Yep. Poor Priscilla. What do I have on? Hard. Hmm. Oh, let me turn the auto loop back on. There we go. Take the ladder. All right. Oh. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Hmm. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. What's in here? It's locked. All right, fine. Yes, all right. I'm going in here now. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver, eh? Well, here's a corpse. That does not look like a dwarven woodcarver to me. Human. Wrong body type. Mm, also not a dwarf. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. Come on, girl. Can we go in here? Oh, yes. And we go over here. Oh, yep. That's not a dwarf. This isn't it. There's another lady. Let's see. Ooh, look at these. Diagrams. Oh, that one's female. You don't see that that often. Excuse me. How about this one? That's gotta be him. But this one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Hmm. Okay, how about this one? A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. Hmm. Banker's, more likely. Okay. Very neat. Pookie. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Uh, well, let's just go down the list. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Well, that does seem to be pretty obvious. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Ugh. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. Hmm. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. 
Scalpel. Mm, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Oh. Oops. Let's look at his head. Oh, no. Notice anything else? Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Hmm. Wait a minute, there's something else. Oh no! Oh, I don't like those sounds. Ugh. Please, sir, hurry up. Oh. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Hmm. Okay. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought Ugh. a zoogal up to my waist in sewage, a so I doubt... A zoogal again. Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue in stronger proportions. It's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Ugh. There's a lot to notice here, huh? Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience, Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Yeah, mm -hmm. morbid humor. And a different sense of humor. His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Oh. Syphilis, actually. Early stages, no sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Okay, we know an awful lot. All right, think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. <sighs> well, there is so much going on. So many peculiar choices that it's got to be probably one or two. Especially given the similarities between this person and Priscilla. It's probably not insanity, it's probably deliberate. Um, so let's go with ritual. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid. All centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. Mm. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. 
got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. Why not both? A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. That's rather odd. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. All right. Now, do you recognize Why that guy? Why do you guy? cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. You didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Okay, mm. thank you. Thank you. Nathaniel. I think that's the uh, last guy who came in. Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, ah. like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. That's pretty sick. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. <laughs> if you really like death, then yes. Uh, so, you might have recognized that guy. We have seen him before in series flashback when she was like fleeing Temple Isle. He's one of the guys who caught Dandelion. I mean, I think he was in charge of the guys who caught Dandelion. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Hmm. I decide when we're done with this subject. What's your connection to him? An old story. But if you insist... The student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop. The corpse collector who found him. Alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. <laughs> okay, several interesting characters there. Nathaniel Pastodi, Hubert Reich. And Joachim von Gratz. So where are these places? Hmm. Woodcarver. Oh, Eustace is right here. Might as well hit him up first. Woodcarver's place Pris where Priscilla was attacked. Okay. Let's find Eustace. Let's find Eustace after we meditate. Got very busy. Is it raining again? <sighs> well, just how it is, I guess. Okay, no, I'm gonna try again. 
Maybe if I meditate for three hours, it'll go away. No. I wish I could change the weather, but alas. Oh, yeah, that looks like a corpse cart. Bloody bandits! You can't go out in the streets no more! At least before they didn't used to kill women. A fool of fowl and a king of beggars. You get no mercy no matter who you are. The king of beggars? Oof. Maybe this is what all these people were screaming about earlier. This is quite a massacre. Oh, that's Eustace. Can I uh, examine any of this? No. Yikes. What's in here? I can't find out. Okay, Eustace. Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. <laughs> you bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Eustace. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. <laughs> Beggars. Street urchins and street walkers. One was so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. Yeah. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Hmm. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. All right. That's another point for Reverend Nathaniel and the suspiciousness sweepstakes. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Hey, excuse me. Yeah, magic time. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Uh. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Yep. Number one magic, number two. Boy, fucking hell! What was that for? For everything. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, that was satisfying. Watch it. Ah, there we go. Nope. Hey. Mm-hmm. There's some clues. A brazier. This time of year. God. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weight on his heel. Grab him! Sid took a step back. Dave. What? How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Uh oh. Oh man. Fucking come on! Okay. Son of a oh boy. One at a time. Come on, come closer. Come on, do it, Geralt. Oh, Geralt. Why was that so slow? Get him. Oh. Did I get one? I think I did. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Ugh. Oh, there we go. You got me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant! Holes can fight back! Ugh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? 
Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Okay. She turned around fast. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla... She was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. Mm. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Dangerous trade, though. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Mm. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Thank you. Okay, so we're starting to get the sense here that this like serial killer started out on people that nobody cared about and is now like working his way up the uh, social food chain, I guess. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally, we'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Okay. Well, what is? Oh, you scared? All right. Human. Priscilla's. Hmm. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. What was this? I know that smell. Aha. Uh -huh. Aldehyde. Okay, so he ran this way. The uh... trail ends here. Hmm. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. So this would seem to indicate that we are probably not dealing with a human. Or at least not a lone human. Concerned citizen sermon. Remember, good people, people, the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape-shifting Dopplers can hide from its light. Not even witches and sorceresses so adept at fooling the common folk. Not the loose women who walk the street and fog men's minds with their charms. Abandon them, the treacherous and immoral magic arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts. And the eternal fire will expose for you all monsters and sinners. Or else burn you too in its flames. From a concerned citizen... Hmm. Okay, so maybe the concerned citizen is in fact our murderer or is connected in some way because they both seem to be eternal fiery and uh, concerned with punishing people, I guess. Oh, look, it's finally nice out. So, what is it? Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back, her assailant retreated, and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something. Started hollering. Guards showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud? Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. There that go. particular skill I could use myself. Nice to meet you, Wendy. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. No problem. All right, just one spot left. 
hardly eat seen you now. They eat horse cups. Day like any other. Excuse me, excuse me. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. He told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. I gotta finish what I'm doing, though, first. Hello? You know what? I'm gonna save. It's been a minute. There we go. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much later. Come on, come on in. Slowly now, you're listening, mate. Don't worry, I'll just axie them. Charming as beasts go. You daft? Even I'm scared of them. Better back and dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But a sleep sound at least. Okay, who are you? So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Sounds like you have a good plan. I'd get out of here if I were you, too. Um. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? was Fabian who threatened this one last. Hmm. Oh, he were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But he were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Yeah, that tracks. We uh, saw when we were in the morgue that uh, the dwarf who died was in the early stages of syphilis. So it sounds like he blamed that uh, woman for his syphilis, and it sounds like that's what she died of too. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. <sighs> but the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. Uh-oh. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. They know they could have folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Okay, thank you. Mind if I look around? Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Thank you for the warning. Oh yeah, look at these statues. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Blood stains. That's mm. where Phoebe and Leah when they find him. Hmm. Murderer mm -hmm. dragged something Someone heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. Or dragged it from one corpse to the other repeatedly. Thanks, Geralt. That was not helpful. Look at that pupper. Another sermon, it looks like. This one any different? Ah, yeah, no, that's the same.
more statues. Okay, looks like it leads in here. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. I'll open it for you if you want. stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood. Hmm. Left a few stains behind. Okay, so this is the wood carving workshop. This. Come on. Eyes. Ew. Completely wrong. Oh, I see it now. Gross. Is he carving this chair also? Oh. Furniture got knocked over. Oh, no. <laughs> this looks like it was kicked. Ah, we did see that he broke his toe. Uh, kicking something. All right. What's this? Formaldehyde. Ah, uh, again. Doubt Fabian used it. Hmm. Doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Okay, thank you. Gus, I appreciate it. Hi. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm hmm. The women, especially. Never seen a bust that size on Molitale. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that will crush her back. Went them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut my trap. <laughs> and sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple. And the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like he got somebody mad. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. For the glory of the eternal fire. Fine. We've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. All right, so it's starting to come together. Everybody seems to have uh, transgressed against the eternal fire in one way or another. Have a hard time fighting the work here, watcha? I don't think that's true. Uh, this guy was making sculptures for non-eternal fire gods that had uh, large bosoms. Priscilla wrote her songs about the hierarch. And I guess also. Oh, there's another sermon. He doesn't like prostitutes or something. Excuse me. I'm heading to the morgue. Interesting that the morgue is so close to the nice part of town. I wouldn't think it would be. Welcome, Master Witcher. Thank you. Welcome, Master Witcher. It's very nice. Uh, this way? No, this way? Yes, so. Mm hmm. You called? Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual uh. caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Yeah, we heard some tales. Von Gratz told me all about you. 
Ah, doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful, or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Don't sound very pleased about that. Hmm. I think every other time I've played this, I've chosen option number one. But let's see what he says at number two. Choosing the lesser evil can be hard at times. Happen to know a thing or two about that. In that respect, this work has its benefits. I couldn't possibly hurt anyone here if I tried. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. Aww. Oh He's no, cruel that priest and capricious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, mm. because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I would. Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt mm. with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Yep, yeah, okay, so this fits in with the profile. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the ribcage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Hmm. Patricia Vagelbud. Gods, he knows no bounds. To attack Lady Vagelbud, heiress of such a prominent family. Where is she? Tell me. She resides in an estate beyond the city, north of Oxenford. Gotta find her, now. All right, Lady Vagelbud, we're coming. Oh, we learned a little bit more about Hubert Reich there. Oh, Patricia Vagelbud. Concerned citizen, yep. The same person leaving all those notes. I'm coming. Ew. Run, Geralt. Let me... Excuse me, sir. May I get in, please? What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Sure, sure. Yes, good fellow? If it's work you seek. Don't know that I'm all that good. Name's Geralt. Looking for Patricia Vagel, bud. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. Um... There's not enough time, lady. No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. Okay. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square. 
uttered not a word on our way home. Mm. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good for her. Well, well, another freak. Excuse you. This is a very nice house you have here. seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Very windy in here. Oh! He... He ran out the other door! Catch him! Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Oh, this way? Here. Uh-oh. Hoppers. No, there's no time for you. Spread out! Murder is still here! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There he is! Get him! What do you mean? Oh, he killed the guard. Wait, it wasn't me. Run, run, girl. Oh, excuse you. Run, girl. We gotta find him. Did he go this way? I can't use my witchery senses because I'm in combat. Yeah. I don't see anybody. Uh oh. Well, I see those guys, but I don't see anybody who's not chasing me. Watch out. Whoop, whoop. Oh no. Ooh. Can I go out the front door? Uh, that's a nope. What if I shake these guys? Then can I go out the front door? Oh, all right, fine. If you must. Look, guys. Oh. Between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Uh, well. <laughs> One seems the meanest, so let's go there. Murderer might have grown bored of prostitutes and beggars. Might have wanted to see how the upper classes die. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Mm. Tracks just end, as if he vanished. That blue? No. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's fast. 
formaldehyde. Empty formaldehyde bottle. Yep. How about is this the same again? E you know. Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path, sparing no one and stopping for nothing. The fire burns all sinners alike. Be they paupers or princes, men or non-humans, weak or powerful. Whoever breaks its commandments, whoever does not heed the church's counsel, whoever worships false gods, the same shall be turned to ash in its flame. Live then in the truth of the eternal fire, listen to its holy men, for they are your shepherd. Okay, so clearly, um, the concerned citizen was concerned that this poor old lady didn't like the, uh, oops, oh, this is the way I went out before. Didn't like the way they were burning people in the square. I'm sorry, Ingrid. We were too slow. Oh, wait. Out here. On, along the water. Ooh, wonderful. Uh, thought that was Roach for a second. Nope. We've been here before with the whole succubus contract thing. Oh. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. A very important client, you say. Oh, excuse me, sir. Who do you think you are? I'm a man on a mission. Well, excuse me, strumpets. In here? No, not up here. Oh, here we go. Ah, sweet Nettie. Here? No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Uh. What? No foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. A lot of clues do seem to point to him. He does seem like he would have the motive. He's a man of the eternal fire, and he clearly is sadistic. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. <laughs> There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. From Alderhyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. I don't think so. Normally it's magic first, then violence, but in this case, I think we're gonna go straight to violence. This is the bad dude. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. Oh. Woo! Hang on. Oh, come on! Get him! Yeah. Ugh! Jeez, Geralt. Wow, that was vicious, man. Well, we got a poker and some pants, I guess. Okay, sweet Nettie, I'm sorry you had to see that. You're free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. If I did everything and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. 
so hard I passed out. Oh. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Well, at least she's okay. Although clearly this has happened before. You'd think that all of the brothels would have heard about this by now. Alright, we gotta get to the warehouse. Where am I going? Gotta get to the warehouse! So you can kind of pierce it together that uh, the coroner... Are you coming or what? Uh... Faster. Uh, framed Nathaniel because of that time with the poker and all the other times he was mean. He also doesn't like the back of Von Gratz, but I guess he couldn't pin it on him. Although he did try to make him look pretty suspicious too. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a Quen on. E required. Okay. How about this one? Oh, there we go. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Yeah, that tracks. Hasn't aged. Jumped over the wall. Tracks disappeared. Makes sense. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. Yeah. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. <sighs> Tortured logic. Yet logic, nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut it. Okay, wait. I need some black blood. Black blood. Do I have that on already? Yes. Oh, gosh. I think that's T. Oops, nope. Okay. Oh, hang on, let's look up. Vampires. See one of these? Yeah, let's get a little closer. It says vampire. Woo! Well, he's transforming, so maybe we want to do this. There we go. Adam! 
Well, we accidentally took some cat, but that's okay. It's kind of dark in here anyway. Wow. The cat -a can I think? Hubert Reich. Yep. Melitale. Uh, oh wait, are you in here? No, are you in here? Yeah. Yes, Geralt? We did it. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. These murders. Got any what do suspects? You think? No, Geralt. Though all in all, I should have. What do you mean? By virtue of my profession, I know Novigrad's underworld better than most. Dozens of mercenaries, racketeers, bandits, and hired assassins have had their turn on my operating table. Rogues, one and all. But I believe even they could not kill in this manner. So horribly cruel, yet cold, methodical, with absolute precision. Concluding this overlong explanation, I've no notion who's behind it, but I fear them like hell. Hmm. Um, let's do four and five, even though they're off topic. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. <laughs> I've been at Vilmerius Hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Hmm. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. <laughs> Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Mm hmm. We will meet Shani much later. Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Nice meeting you. Farewell. How's... Oh. Better. Right? Y yes Did you take care of... what I asked? Yeah. The Witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. <laughs> Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. Aww. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. 
Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Hey, we done good today.